in this video we are going to discuss about ethernet at the physical layer so what is ethernet at the physical layer that is it is a physical layer component which depends about the properties of optical properties and physical properties of ethernet so you can see ethernet was finally or originally implemented by a group of comprised digital xerox and intel teams which is dix teams and after that IEEE then extended the 802.3 committee to new two committees known as 802.3U which is fast ethernet and 802.3AB which is gigabit ethernet on a category 5 cable then it created another committee known as 802.3AE which is 10 GBS over fiber and coaxial cables so you can see about the description very clearly here that this is based on attenuation and crosstalk. So what is attenuation? This is the loss of signal strength as it travels through the length of the cable and it is measured in decibels. So what is crosstalk? This is the unwanted signal interference from the adjacent pairs of the cable. So if a cable is uh, available here. so due to crosstalk the unwanted signal interference occurred through the adjacent coaxial cables and what does this mean is the category 5 cable has lesser attenuation and crosstalk than the category 3 cables so we, we will be looking into the different kinds of cables and what are its properties very clearly here so you can see these are the cable names speed of the cables cable types maximum length of the cables and which connector they are connected to and the description of the each and every cable here. So first one is 10 base 2 cable and its speed is 10 Mbps cable type is coaxial table and you can see here it has 185 meters of length and it is connected to AUI connector and description coming to known as thinnet and it contains or it can support up to 30 hosts in a single segment a single segment or a single collision domain across the network so this is a, these are the features of this 10 base 2 cable coming to 10 base 5 cable it has the speed of 10 mbps and it is coaxial type cable which is 500 meters in length and it is also connected to aui connector so it is known as thicknet and it can support up to 100 users in a single segment a single collision domain across the network so it only has a single collision domain across the network and it can connect up to 100 users coming to the third one which is 10 base t cable name and it has a speed of 10 mbps and it is utp type of a cable and it has a length of 100 meters and it is connect to rj45 connector and the first standard to use utp cable was rj45 and it is a single host can be connected only to this connector or this cable and it required use of hub to connect to host that means here in this cable it is the first time rj45 uses this utp cable and it is a, it, it only connects to single host and if you want more host to get connected we have to use hubs here to connect so coming to advanced version of the ethernet standards you can see it is called advanced ethernet standards or it we can call extended ethernet standards and these are the cables speeds types and maximum cable length of the connectors here so this is 100 base tx based on this 802.3.u it is a fast ethernet and it, is, it has a speed of 100 mbps and what is the cable type utp category 5 6 and 7 two pair wiring it has two pair wiring on it and you can see it is a it has a maximum length of 100 meters and connected to the connected rj45 the same way we have different versions of the fast fast ethernet and here we have different versions of the gigabit ethernet and you can see here the main difference is of the speed which is 1000 mbps 1000 mbps and also multi mode fiber which is fiber optical kind of and copper twisted pair so here the cable types are different and also maximum lengths are different which are connected to different connectors here so this is these are the ethernet we use in the physical layer and 
it categories based on the cable types, speeds and also about the fast ethernet, gigabit ethernet and also coming to fiber optical kind of ethernets what we use in the physical layer.